and gentlemen, boys and girls, dog, cats, and squirrels, anybody who might want to listen to an old man like me. Hello, girl. Hello, money. Hola, dinero. Hola, mundo. Veterans all over the world. Don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing gonna be all right. Because this is my message to you. <laughs> Better rich. Bob Marley in the house. Bob Marley in the house, baby. Better rich. Bob Marley in the house. That's what I'm talking about. He delivering that message. He delivering that message all over the world, man. Bob Marley, man. He, oh, he was forever delivering messages. But for you guys, for all my veterans, man, this is the uplift all my veterans all around the world. All my veterans is sitting over there in them doggone uh, danger zones. Just think, someone over here thinking of you. And that someone is Jerry Costello, baby. And while you sitting over them danger zones, man, your other friends over there, man, they repelling out helicopters. They parachuting out of airplanes. They dodging bullets. They dodging IEDs. They dodging grenades. They running for their life. Man, they dodging all these uh, chemicals, warfares is going on over there. And guys, I just hope you guys are being safe, man. Every day I get out here, I got to uplift you guys. Every single day. It's my calling. I'm going to do it. It don't cost me anything. Guys, I just love my veterans, man. And I know what you guys are going through. And now at this time of the year, it's very, very cold. I mean, winter is coming, and I know you guys need some sweaters and coats. And uh, it's the VA, they usually give me two or three coats. And I just try to disperse them as fast as I can when I get them. But guys, listen, man. For all those doggone veterans that sit in no cars, man, with no gas, no no heat, no electricity, just think they are angels, guys, that can watch over you because they done brought you this far. If you're 40, 50 years old, 60 years old, man, just think it's a blessing, man, that you're here. You're still here. Your situation might be a little different than others, but, man, you're here. You, you're a blessing. You're above ground. He, you or she, you, you're above ground. So that is a blessing. There's some angels around you. Okay, and all my doggone uh, veterans that sit in the uh, shelters over there and all those uh, assisted of, uh, uh, living. Man, I hope you are very well taken, very cared of, and I know you are. You know, I, I, get, I, concern, I get concerned about you guys. And uh, every day, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Uh, nobody going to tell me what I can and cannot do, man, when it comes to these veterans. And guys, you know why I do this every single day? Is to get my veterans this who's will-bound to a wheelchair and they can't move. And what I do is just get them out to a football game where they had that one YouTube experience to watch a football game among 60 to 70,000 people. And you know, and then my favorite announcer there is they had a Colorado game, they missed Mr. Mark Johnson. He said, ladies and gentlemen, focus your attention down there in that south end zone and see those veterans down there. You see a big old band on that wall. He said, Vietnam veterans for Coach Prime, Colorado Buffaloes. <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing. And you know that veteran, man, we done took out that whole day, man. We done spoil them rotten, he or she. We done spoil them rotten. We done uh, put three, four hundred dollars in their pocket. We put them on a beautiful jet. Uh, we done put in a motorhome, a uh, tractor trailer, and then one of our charter bus. All these things are fabulous, man. They all look like mansions. And we get them out to a football game. We get them into a beautiful hotel. You get three meals a day. And guys, you know, my whole goal is just get 12 people a, a year, 12 people a year uh, to get out to a football game that's wheelchair bound. And that's not hard to do. How we do that? Well, first of all, guys, I got a GoFundMe link below. If you guys see anything that you want to contribute, that'd be awesome. But we've got these uh, deep pocket veterans who will be glad to write a tax write off and do a good cause for these veterans. It won't be a problem at all because they already got these vehicles. Just think all my deep pocket veterans who was over there in Vietnam, who was over there in Korea, or the Korean uh, veterans. They got these vehicles, man. You know, and we can just get them out to a football game, get our veterans out to a football game. Let them enjoy that experience. And if they're really, really sick, we have a VA nurse that'll provide for them and give them care all day long. And that VA nurse gonna probably love sports too. <laughs> what you talking? And she gonna take care of her patient that she love anyway. Probably would do it free because these people, when you talking about nurses and doctors, man, they are very caring people, individuals. They love people. And so she would probably do that for free, man. And so she'd sit there, enjoy the game, and still take care of patients at the same time. Man, what you talking? 
and everybody just listening at this guy's stories, man. Listening at his family stories, listening at the stories that he had when he was overseas. Man, that's a beautiful thing, man. Because these stories gonna get away. They gonna get away, guys. And we don't need to get them away. We don't need to let these stories get away. We need to hear some of these stories, man. We need to hear some of these stories. And that's what I wanna do. It's amazing to sit around some of these uh, Korean vets. I done got around two of them trying to get, lock them in <laughs> for an interview so I can get some stories, man. But every time, man, they get really sick at the time I want to interview them. <sighs> and even with my uncle. You know, he's a 92-year-old Korean vet. He the one really got me started with this uh, YouTube channel, man. I want to get him out to a football game. Uh, it's still not too late. I know we probably got about uh, three or four games left in the season before the playoffs. We still got time, guys. If not, we still got all next year, man. We got all this summer, too, man. We got all this uh, summer coming up. Uh, man, all the spring. So we can get it happening before fall come back, man. We can get somebody out to a football game. I'm going to be happy, man. I'm going to be truly, truly happy. And uh, I hope you guys be happy, too, man. I hope you guys feel as passionate as I do, man. Have the same heart and passion that I do. Because these veterans, man, they wheelchair-bound. They can't get out of their wheelchair. And they just go around in their house, man, in circles from the bedroom to the kitchen to the bathroom. Bedroom, kitchen, bathroom. That's no way to live, man. You know, I wouldn't want to live like that. I really don't, man. I'm retired now, you know, and God got me with all my limbs where I could just travel like I want to and move around like I want to. But then when I think about my veterans who can't, I'd be a little concerned. So I could say I can't do anything physically for these people. But I could definitely get them out to a football game and have that one day experience, that YouTube one day experience. Because it's all through YouTube that this thing all started. I have a platform for all my veterans. I have a platform for all my veterans, man. Man, what you talking about? And you know, I love sports and I love my veterans. That's why I consolidated the two. And I love it. I really do. Every day, man, I'm going to do my sports and I'm going to do my veterans. Uh, I, I love this thing. <laughs> So anyway, veterans, I, I know I digress. I'm running my mouth. But guys, man, just think of this here. If you see in your heart any way that you can help me with these veterans, we're just trying to get them out to a football game where they can draw a Coke and a hot dog and they get the ambience around them and 67,000 people cheering these people on and they get to watch a football game for a whole day. All their problems are just washed away because we're going to spoil them rotten. Uh, we're going to spoil her rotten. Come on, stop playing. Let's spoil them rotten. <laughs> That's for the rotten veterans. But listen, I need your help, guys. I got to go for me down below. Anything you guys can do to contribute, man, be greatly appreciated. I'm going to get me some logos going, too, man. You know, Vietnam Veterans for Coach Prime is what um, my, my YouTube channel is. I'm going to try to get some uh, logos and some T-shirts going. Something just to get uh, something going toward these veterans, guys. We got a $100,000 goal. We right now got $385 in our coffers. And anything that you guys contribute be greatly appreciated. All right, that's enough of me rambling. But all my veterans over there in those war zones, man, I hope you're very, very safe. And, man, please hurry up and come back home, man, because your family needs you and we need you. And always remember these two veterans and everybody else around the world. To the world, you might be one person, but to that one person, you just might be the world. And I won't see each and every one of you at the top. I'm going to see each and every one of you at the top. Until next time. Everyone's waiting for today's flight.